Well, here we are back on this car, and today I'm going to show you how to pull apart a seatbelt uh, from, I don't know, 60s, 70s class belts. Anyways, uh, on the side of the seatbelt, you have two little indents right there. Let's see if I can't. One on this side, and one on this side. And you have a spring in here. On the other side, it looks like this. So... If you look, you see you have that little indentation right there. Just forward of it, you have a little, little clasp type retainer thing. You can see it would lock it in place once you slide it down both sides. So what you do is you take your screwdriver and you put it right in there so it lists out that little detent. If you can tell, it's going to be like that. I'm sticking in the screwdriver, sticking the screwdriver in right next to that little tab. I got a really, really thin screwdriver, as thin as possible. And then I did the same thing to the other side. You can barely see it right there. And what I did was I stuck that in there. Then I shoved up on this portion of the seatbelt to kind of pry it off. So I'd stick it in here and just literally, let me see if I can. So what I'm doing again is I'm sticking in and popping it up a little bit. And then all you have to do is take your screwdriver and pop it right here between this portion of the seat belt and the, t and the bottom portion or top. And then I just stuck it in and I just twisted it. And then it pops it up. I'm not sure if I can get a video of it right now of me doing it. But let me show you what it looks like as I do it. You can see that it's both sides are free now. And all I'm doing is sticking my screwdriver in and, and twisting it. And then you can lift it up just a little bit and then slowly just finagle it out. And then as you pull it up, be careful, you're going to have a spring in there. And that's what it looks like. And I'm going to take it out of this clasp. And I'm going to soak them in vinegar. This is what it looks like before vinegar, and this is what it looked like after vinegar. I use a toothbrush, some uh, pipe cleaner, so let me show you what I got. I got my spring and the vinegar. All I did was use a, uh, an old gallon milk jug, and here's another one I've cleaned up, just the bottom so far. I haven't cleaned the top yet. I'm going to get up in there and clean it all out. So. What you can do on this is you slowly back out this, the end that has the um, fold in it and just slowly push over on this and just slowly slide it out. And then once you get it up here, you can push it out. It'll take a little bit of work. There's no way I can film doing the same thing. Let me see if I can't show you what it would look like. So what it looks like once you start to kind of push this bar forward you can slowly get this up in there. As you start to push on this, make sure you take and push this bar as far forward as you can. So this bar right here, push it to your right, and then just slowly start pushing it out and moving it up. And just work it out. And then once you do that, pull it back through the other side, and then throw this whole thing in the vinegar. So hopefully this was a helpful hint on this old car.